the Bay Area, that is for sure. Twitter and Square CEO Jack Dorsey walks a little over five miles to work every day and uses the time to think, to listen to audiobooks, and to draw inspiration from the streets of San Francisco. I'm Kathleen Elkins, reporter for CNBC Make It, and this week I'm living like Jack Dorsey. To start the day, Dorsey wakes up at 5 a.m. to meditate and work out, so I did too. It's 5.09 a.m. I snoozed my alarm one week. One week. That's how tired I am. I'm also filming in the bathroom because I have roommates who are all asleep. After meditating, checking email, and getting ready for the day, I headed out around 7 a.m., which is much earlier than I would normally leave. New York City in January is Cold, which I wasn't entirely prepared for. My filming phone died already from the cold, I think. So I'm on to the backup iPhone 5. Let's hope this one lasts a little longer. It didn't. So I just had a lot of time with me, myself, and I on that hour and a half or so journey. Adjusting to Jack Dorsey time was rough. I'm extra ravenous from all this morning walking, and I'm literally heating up my lunch at 11.15 a.m. It's literally 6.15 p.m. right now. I can't remember the last time I got into bed this early, but I am hooped. Back at it, 5 a.m., 11 hours from now, woo! But as the week continued, I sorted out the logistics and I became more and more prepared for the five mile journey. All right, day two of living like Jack Dorsey, I'm feeling great today, very well rested, all my phones are charged, so hopefully I get to listen to those podcasts that I had planned for yesterday, brought a hot coffee with me to stay even warmer, little uh, mid-walk snack. I even adjusted to my new wake-up time. Got plenty of sleep last night, felt pretty great. Fell asleep before 8, up at 5, so it's like 9 hours, um, and this morning, I'm gonna go for a little jog. The extra time I had in the morning from five to seven was a game changer. By waking up well before the sun rises, you're essentially eliminating common distractions like email and text messages and social media. And sure enough, I didn't have anyone to text. I didn't have any Instagram posts to scroll through during those two hours in the morning. And I could just focus on getting things done. More 5 a.m. perks. Whole gym to myself. Also, this is really gross. The great thing about doing laundry at 5 a.m., you have your choice of the machines. They're all open. Little fun live update. I ran into a buddy at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> did you know that Jack Dorsey wakes up at 5 a.m.? Uh, no, I did not. He meditates, but I decided to go for a run. He's a better man than me. <laughs> the commute took me about 90 minutes. It required a lot more planning than I had anticipated. I had to make sure my phones were fully charged. I had to download podcasts ahead of time to save on data. I had to pack a light backpack that was easy to carry. And perhaps most challenging, I had to wear weather and walking and work appropriate clothes, which meant wearing pretty much the same thing all week, black pants and a sweater. I'm so tired. I don't want to get out of this coat. It's Thursday morning, I'm in the gym, I'm really starting to feel it this morning. Either like the walking or the waking up early, probably the combination of the two, but I am beat. So while I managed to rise and commute like Jack Dorsey for one week, I don't know if I could ever adapt his routine consistently. We made it to Friday, the sun is shining, the tank is clean. It is a great day to walk to work. But overall, it was a productive, informative, and highly active week. 